Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to another Atlanta Brick Co. Haul video. We've actually got a pile of stuff to look at today. Ed and the weekend crew are super busy, so we have a bunch of sets to look at. Let's just go ahead and get started. This Voltron looks amazing. It's got the box. It's in good condition. Uh, the set's in there. We're going to be certifying and completing it. Looks like it's all 100% built right now with the instructions, so we'll be working on that as soon as possible as this is a very cool and popular set. So this is probably my favorite thing of the collection, although there's a couple things that will rival it in cool factor soon. There is a bunch of Star Wars, some architecture in here. Got another Ultron era Hulkbuster. Some Marvel Shang-Chi. Got some Technic builds in here too. Looks like the Ferrari, McLaren, Batman bust, smaller Star Wars sets down there as well. Got the Apollo. This is the Apollo mission, but this is the Saturn V. It's very nice. These are all built sets, so we're gonna have to certify and or put them out for sale as is. So. I think most of these will be certified though, because there's some good sets here. Aston Martin here. Got the A-Wing UCS down there as well. More architecture sets, different skylines here. A little more Star Wars, more Technic. I did like this uh, Tantive here. That's actually a really good one. Has some great figures too. I think the figures are in these, so we'll be able to complete them. Over here to my left, we have a bunch of built sets. Let's go ahead and start here. We have the Queen Whatever Wannabe's Palace which is a fun, cool, artistic looking set. Little Ninjago Dragon over there, some Minecraft, a bunch more Minecraft up here, as well as what looks like the Nintendo controller and the game cartridge. A couple more built Star Wars sets up here. Got some DC Tumblr right there, Batmobile, TIE Fighter, the Solo Era Millennium Falcon, Looks a tiny bit yellowed, so this might be the uh, the version after they've made the Kessel Run. <laughs> got a little baked, but uh, got some more Star Wars down here. Razor Crest, X-Wing, some Clone Wars era vehicles here, another TIE Fighter. Got the Crater Pirate Ship missing its nose. It has the instructions over there, though, so might be able to fix it up. Looks like a little bricks cleaner upper sorter thingy. I think this is an actual Lego, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Duplo, 1991. Super cool. That'll go up here with the alligators. Got look, looks like a Seinfeld set. Has the figures. Very nice. Some boxes down here, but here's some cool base plates that we got in. Some Aqua Zone on the top. Pirates, Adventurers in the middle, and on the bottom, another Adventurers. This is the uh, Amazon Ancient Ruins one, and that's a super cool base plate. It's been a long time since we've seen this particular one, so I'm excited about that. Couple built sets over here. Got some Hero Factory, Bionicle, and uh, another Benatar here. Is this a Benatar or is this a Milano? This is a Milano? Benatar? Benatar's the latest one. This might be the Milano 2 or 3. Um, got the awesome Discovery Space Shuttle with the metallic stickers looking really nice. It's a lot of stickers to apply, but they've already been stuck on in this set. Got a few more Star Wars vehicles down here, and that's gonna be about it. So well, there's a few in bags over here too. Kind of duplicates what we've seen already. But yeah, lots of built sets. There are a bunch of minifigures um, downstairs. We'll go check those out in a second. I did remember one thing though. Over here, we had some cool board games. I loved this Lego Racers game as a kid. It has these tracks that you could make, you could race the cars, build your cars as you go along, get boosters and stuff, really fun. Got a couple of copies of those. But more importantly, we've got the Lego Time Cruisers game, which is crazy, has some really weird pieces and figures. I don't know how complete these are, so I'll have to go through and check them, but that just some really nostalgic stuff for um, a 90s Lego fan right here. Very good stuff. I think we also had just a few other sets over here tucked away that I spotted on the way over to those board games. Got the Tron, Hobbit game, got a Assembly Square, a few Disney sets, Star Wars. Looking pretty good. Let's go check out those minifigures downstairs. 
Okay, we've made it down to the basement and there are just absolutely a ton of minifigures to go through. We'll try and weave our way through this mixture of goodness here. Got some CMFs in this bag here, some older ones, newer ones. I see some Series 5 in there for sure. Bunch of good figures there. Those will be going out for sale rapidly, as you can imagine. A couple interesting Star Wars and older Lego themes in here too. I see some Mars Mission, Aqua Raiders, Atlantis, Power Miners, Winnie the Pooh figures looking great. A few more Star Wars figures. These are some more common ones I remember, if I remember correctly. The Bad Batch. I think we have actually the entire Bad Batch in here somewhere. So there's some of the main characters there. Got a Sith Trooper, Harry Potter figures, giant Duplo figures. A lot of good stuff in there. Some Space Police. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, moving right along, we've got bag, a mixed bag of things here. Some CMFs, some Chima, some Marvel, Harry Potter. Just a variety of things happening there. This one is mostly Star Wars with a few random surprises thrown in. A few more Bad Batch. Some Lone Ranger stuff sneaking in. Sith Troopers. There's Rey. Some Knights of Ren. Clone Trooper. Scout Trooper. Jedi and Sith Shore Troopers. Got a couple of those. That's exciting to see. Still seeing those pop up in Star Wars shows. Lando, some solo figures, just a, a bunch of stuff. This is excellent to see. Star Wars is always popular in the minifig department. We've got a bunch of droids in here, some Sith Troopers, Praetorian Guards, a Ninjago figure, a couple of 501st figures. Ooh, that looks like a... That might be custom. For a second, I thought I got excited because of that, uh, that waist cape. That's interesting. Um, yeah, some Jedi in there, a bunch of characters from the newer and older movies. And Groot. If anyone needs a Groot, <laughs> we've got a Groot. <laughs> Moving on, this bag has some really cool figures, including that very rare Ahsoka figure. She's a couple hundred dollars, I think, now. Um, you got, uh, you see, Lauren is in there, I think. There's Tarkin, Inquisitors, some of the droids from the newer series. There's Sabine Wren in her helmet. That's going to be collectible here soon. It's been featured a lot in the Star Wars TV shows. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, some more Star Wars and Marvel CMFs. These are from the first wave. So you got the Superior Spider-Man, you got Gamora, a couple of those characters from that series, and a bunch of Troopers, Knights of Ren, The Mandalorian, there's Princess Leia. We need a few more of those. Yeah, great figures. Over here, there's two that Kenji picked us aside separately. Got the Mimban Stormtrooper and the Airborne from... Uh, this is Utapau, right? That's the one 212th? from Grievous's starship. Yes. That, that, that is 212. 212th, but right. But it's, uh, it's the more rare one. The harder to find one with the waist cape. Very cool. So, nice. But yeah, that's not all, though. We've got even more down here. A bunch of CMFs. So here's some from a more recent wave. What is this? I forget which one is this. 25 series. Whatever this series is, doesn't even say. But yeah, all those Snow Guardian, the Chili Pepper. Well, that's good. Some Disney CMF remnants here. Bunch of Muppet figures in here. Another wave of CMFs. This is like the Brown Spaceman, the Falconer. There's some baby space people there too. Over here are a bunch of slightly incomplete figures. So most of the figure might be there, but it might be missing something. Like this one's missing his head. Some are missing accessories. But there's some great stuff in here from all different themes. So we'll be putting these probably into the graveyard parts of the applicable theme and completing them as soon as possible. I see some monkey kid down there too. Even more CMFs. This one has the little night girl figure. She has some awesome pieces and accessories. Yeah, some very good CMFs all throughout here. Bunch of droid pieces, stickers, accessories. These will all get sorted as best as possible. And just a bunch of random figure parts down there. It'll be a while before those get all processed, but yeah. 
our work is cut out for us but uh yeah we'll be putting our best effort into getting these organized sorted and put online for you guys so you can all purchase whatever figures you're looking for but yeah thank you so much don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are interested in any of the products or minifigs or sets that are here go ahead and check out our website atlbrick.com we'll see you then Bye bye